Hey there chameleons, it's Camille, and today's video is the video you've all been waiting for, the tutorial on how I dyed my hair my new green color, which kind of reminds me of moss and trees and mermaids and the Joker kind of all at the same time. But I love this color and I'm going to show y'all how I did it. Let's go. So first I assembled my supplies and I got the Arctic Mist Diluter just in case it was too potent. I got the Sterling, which is a silver hair dye. I got Iris Green, which is my main color. And then I just wanted a little bit blue, so I got Poseidon to mix with my green. Of course you need your mixing bowl and a tint brush to mix it all together. I started with a base of the silver just because I wanted it to have sort of like a little bit of a silver tone in it without the silver lightening the color too much, so I just put a little. Then I put a huge majority of green, and I think I ended up using like the entire bottle of this dye. Uh, but you want to do this a little bit out of time just to mix and see how it looks, and then mix a little bit more so you don't overdo it. Which is why I'm adding in blue right now, just to see what kind of color will come out when I use this green to blue ratio. Which was a little bit more blue, a little more teal than I wanted. So then I went back in with the green and added another layer of green so I could see if that was a good enough ratio. And then once I mixed it all together, I got this lovely bluish green teal kind of color. And before putting it on my hair, I'm testing it on a white paper towel to see how potent it is and just to test the color a little bit more. And I decided to add a little bit more silver, retest it, see if I liked it, and decided to add a little more green after that. So in order to make the perfect green for me, that's all the stuff that I had to do. And you guys can use your own mixology methods on getting the perfect color for you. But this is definitely what I would recommend. Test it on something white like paper, paper towel, whatever. I liked that color after that test, so I picked a little bit up and I did a strand test um, off camera. I just tested the ends of my hair to see how well it showed up, and it was good. Now I am applying that to my hair using my hands because it is just semi-permanent dye. The only thing it's going to do is stain your hands and your fingers and change your nail polish to like a greeny kind of color, which I didn't mind, and it's just a lot easier to apply this way because you can feel what you're doing since you can't see the back of your head, and it's a good way to just kind of mix it all into your hair and just make sure everything's saturated, and it's just what I do all the time, and I kind of like having green hands anyways, so it's just my method. I do little sections, make sure they're all saturated, then flip them over and go work my way to the back and make sure everything is super green. I look like a crazy robot right now doing this. I also like to comb it out with my fingers, just in case. Now it is completely saturated. I've got all of my hair coated with my beautiful mixture of dye, and my hair is starting the process of greening itself up. So, now you just wait. <laughs> Slick down your hair and wait at least half an hour uh, especially with these Arctic Fox dyes, you want to leave them in as long as possible. I waited like a couple hours just because it doesn't matter how long you wait and it's kind of conditioning. And it turned out to be this really nice kind of earthy green color and I love my new color. It's one that I've never done. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial even though you had to wait a while, but I hope you liked it. I'll have links to all the products I use in the description box as usual. And if you guys ever try out any of these tutorials, I'd love to see photos. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, my vlog channel, and my cooking channel, which are linked down below if you like the video. And I will see you chameleons in the next video. Kisses.